coming in from the Virginia, West Virginia state line up here in the beautiful Appalachian Mountains. My name is Bo and I've been living and traveling out of my Toyota Prius for about the past year with my dog going cross country. And uh, here I'm going to take you on a typical day and show you what it looks like. So I decided to go hiking today and this is one of my favorite spots in this area. It's an old historic fire watch tower. It's called High Knob Fire Tower and right here along this ridge of the mountains on this side is West Virginia and on this side is Virginia. So and the line goes right here along this little ridge. Alright so I'm headed back to the car now and uh, yeah so when I'm traveling around um, I'm typically in one of two kinds of places. I'm either in a public lands kind of place which is like BLM land or a national forest and I'm camping or I'm in a city suburbs kind of area and I'm sleeping in some kind of like public parking lot like Walmart or something like that. This is the third massive king snake I've seen today. It's a black eastern king snake. Gosh, I almost stepped on it. So this is my campsite right now. Um, I've been here for a little over a week. It's a really nice dispersed campsite. I have so much privacy out here on this dirt road. There's not anything down that dirt road. For about a quarter mile on the left, there's another campsite. And then at a, down here on the right, quarter mile, there's another campsite down there on the left. But besides that, there's like nothing out that way for at least a mile. There's nothing out that way for at least a mile. And I have this whole area to myself. Um, spots like this are really precious to me. Um, and yeah, th this is a national forest. And... Uh, it can be really hard to find spots like this on the East Coast. Um, out West, they're real common, like you have the fire ring and stuff, and uh, it's completely free. These are public lands, and uh, so yeah, I've been here for a little over a week. Normally, I don't stay at spots this long. Um, I have a few reasons why I've been here for so long, but um, this site is just so beautiful and perfect. I have my own little private spot on the creek right here with these stairs. And the sun shines right down here. And uh, I built my Prius out to be a camper. Normally I sleep in my Prius. I have a sleeping platform in there. But I also bring my tent with me. And the reason I have my tent set up right now is uh, for a few reasons. But uh, basically my camping air mattress started leaking air. And I'm waiting on the company to warranty it out. Because it is under warranty. But it just takes a while. So I set up my tent and I got this cool little cot in here uh, it's a nice little cot that's my dog's bed right there and so this is where I've been sleeping and it's been so nice because I go to bed and I hear the water running down here at night it's so relaxing and uh, yeah these are these are my favorite kind of spots um, I have so much privacy out here and uh, there you know this whole area is packed with trailheads and off-roading trails, hiking trails and mountain tops and just beautiful scenic spots. And also these creeks are stocked with trout, which is cool. I don't have a fishing license so I can't go fishing, but yeah, I I might get a fishing license soon. And uh so yeah, so uh now I think I'm going to do some off-roading. I love exploring these mountain roads out here. Um and I know some of you are probably wondering how I'm going to go off-roading in a Prius. Well, I have a lift kit. I just put a lift kit on my Prius. The company is called Prius Off-Road. They make really high quality Prius lift kits. And um, you probably it's probably kind of hard to tell, but um, the Prius is very low to the ground. Oh, there's a caterpillar. Um, and the wheel is normally up here. The line, it's almost like right at, you know, this edge right here. But uh, I put it's a little 40 millimeter spacer. You put it on top of the struts, and I did that, and it is working awesome. My Prius does awesome off road, and uh, yeah, so there is a really, really cool, beautiful mountaintop spot down here. You have to you have to go off roading for like 30 minutes to get to it, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna think I'm gonna go to it right now. Now 
this is the kind of off-roading that I can't do, obviously, with these crazy high rocks and steep cliffs and stuff, but thankfully I'm not going down this road, but I am going this way. So yeah, these are the kind of areas that where you find like free camping and, and all kinds of awesome outdoor stuff. Like this one, North River Watershed, 17,400 acres for uh, public hunting, fishing, outdoor recreation, and scenic beauty. These are the kind of areas where you can find really awesome free camping and find a good spot to, you know, boondock for as long as you want, really. Now keep in mind, these are not like really uh, hardcore off-roading trails. When I lifted my Prius, I was not planning on doing like really extreme off-roading. Like I just wanted enough ground clearance to where I could drive these mountain roads and explore these areas without scraping the bottom. So that was my goal. Um, you know, I'm not looking for anything crazy and it's, it's doing just fine. I don't ever... So I don't scrape the bottom at all anymore. Uh, yeah, so I'm real happy with um, with how well it came out. right here this is also the Virginia West Virginia state line now these mountains are also called the Blue Ridge Mountains and I think I see why because they really do look blue in the distance So beautiful, nothing but mountains as far as the eye can see. So I just installed this uh, 12 volt socket uh, USB port thing in the back of my Prius. It's super handy. Um, I was real intimidated on installing one of these at first, but it came out really well. It works great and I use it all the time. It was like 10, 15 bucks on Amazon, I think. Uh, it's got two USB ports, a 12 volt socket, and a voltmeter tells you the voltage and you can turn it on and off and I also installed one up here I'm um, sorry my car's kind of messy right now but uh, yeah I installed one on this thing right here it's got the same thing um, two USB port or yeah two USB ports and a 12 volt socket you sitting in the shade yeah 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 So every day is different with how I eat. Um, sometimes I have leftovers, sometimes I eat fast food, but today I am going to eat some frozen burritos in my microwave. So this is my 12 volt refrigerator. I keep it behind the passenger seat and these are the burritos. Uh, the pack came open a little bit. So I just wrap one in paper towel and then I just pop it on this plate right here. I got it plugged into the power inverter and then do it for two minutes. So the burrito came out really good. Um, and yeah, if you have a 12 volt refrigerator, you it doesn't have, you can put frozen food in there. Like the frozen food will still be good for like a few days. Um, you know, as long as it stays under like 40 degrees or so. Um, like these burritos are technically supposed to be frozen, but they were in there for, uh, like they've probably been in there for like five days now um, at like 31 degrees so they're not totally frozen anymore but um yeah so when you're living in your car you just kind of have to wing it you know what I mean and make things work so in terms of living with my dog um, my dog stays up here I generally don't let my dog jump around in the back just because she sheds so much and um, yeah I have leather seats having leather seats is really helpful if you have a dog I got these out of a junkyard um, 
the I got the set out of a junkyard for like I think two hundred and twenty five dollars is what I paid. Uh, it's a little much, but um, if you have cloth seats and you have a dog, not only were there, will their fur stick to it, but the cloth seats really absorb odors, and it's really hard to get rid of the odors. Uh, these leather seats really help. Um, I clean and polish these with this uh, leather cleaner and uh, conditioner that I have. And uh, yeah, front seat is where I keep my dirty clothes, dog food, and my shoes. And uh, yeah, I have a camping dog bed, and I put it in the front seat for my dog to sleep in. Um, I would like for her to sleep in the back, and I'm actually considering removing this the passenger seat altogether and building like a storage platform, but I'm not sure yet. And for those of you that have seen my last videos, um, I put this storage bin on top of my fridge and it is so helpful to have this extra storage right here. Um, I keep stuff in here that I use regularly every day and uh, I velcroed it to the top of my fridge. I found this at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something. It was hard for me to find a box the exact shape and size I needed because I needed, I needed the fridge to still wedge against the seat like that when I open it. And uh, yeah, so and you can see it stays put because it's velcroed there. I found this little side trail. It's pretty cool. All right, so here I'll show you how I found that spot on the map and a little bit about national forests and stuff. So here's the map, here's the United States, and I am in Virginia, right on the Virginia, West Virginia border. Um, and anywhere you see dark green, that's typically a national forest. Um, as you can see right here, it says George Washington National Forest. The one over here is called Monongahela National Forest. And all these blue spots in this area where I'm at are different campsites that I have found in this area that I like. And, uh, yeah, so this is, and typically national forests are in the mountains. That's where you find the camping. And, uh, the way I found this spot was I just zoomed in and I looked around and I saw this right here. And it says, says reddish knob. If it says knob, that typically means it's like a mountaintop and it's going to be a pretty cool spot. And I saw that it's just like a little, there's just a little road leading to it. And I was like, oh, I bet that's a cool spot. And sure enough, it turned out to be cool. Um, you can also look at a topography map and you can see where if there's like a little circle somewhere that means it's like the top of a mountain and uh, anywhere there's like lakes like this lake right here that's a really cool spot and streams you know you'll often find waterfalls and little swimming holes and stuff like that along you know where there's streams all right so here I am the next day I just came back and went to bed early and uh, got up early and uh, I think I'm gonna pack up and go to a new spot I've been here long enough, but um, thanks for watching my vlog. I plan on making more vlogs in the future, and um, I want to get a drone and a GoPro and some other things and really step up my videos. So if you have any comments or suggestions, I'd really appreciate it, and uh, thanks. Have a good one.